Hi everyone, Raphael here at Taming the Orchid. Um, always looking around my grow room, trying to see what I can do with the orchids. I think that's one of the key points about being a really good orchid grower or hobbyist is just to always kind of be on top of your plants. Uh, this is a compote of Cattleya ludimeniana cerulea venosa. It's a rare form of Cattleya ludimeniana. It's really, really beautiful and it's got this beautiful veining. I'll see if I can find a picture of the actual plant. This was a selfing. Um, and I got this compote, I think, just two and a half years ago. And um, they're doing really well. This is, they've been transplanted twice. So this is the second pot they're in. There's seven plants in here. They're getting really big. Um, initially, I wasn't going to uh, transplant these until next year, but they are putting out new roots and new growths. Um, they've gotten really big and uh, I really just want to get them in their own individual pot so that they can go to blooming size and then bloom them out and see uh, and go from there. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, this is them here. They are so cute and they are putting out new roots. So it's a really good time to separate them all and divide them. You can see there's a lot of new root action in there happening and a lot of new growths. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak these in here. Um, this is just... Um, a gallon of warm water with a tablespoon of this stuff, Kelp Ac, used to be called Kelp Max. Uh, it's a seaweed supplement. Um, I do not sell this before anybody asks me. You can Google it and find out. I think it's available in the US and Canada only. Don't quote me on that, I don't know. Uh, it's really, really great stuff and it really promotes root growth and all sorts of other stuff. So it's really great, especially when you are um, transplanting orchids. I find it's really beneficial and it helps a lot. So I use that a lot. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just stick these over in here. And I'm gonna let that soak out for probably 20 minutes to half an hour, and then we will come back when that's ready to go. While I'm waiting for uh, my plant to get a good soak over here, my community pot, um, I've just gone ahead and mixed up my uh, what I call a seedling mix and it's basically one part of fine orchiata bark, uh, one part of charcoal, um, one part of perlite. Uh, I actually put a little bit more perlite because I like a lot of perlite in my mix and then I threw in some extra um, sphagnum moss shavings that I had just to use them up. But um, my reason for using this kind of a mix is that this will hold water for the plants and this is really good for seedlings that are establishing themselves and young orchid plants that are establishing themselves. Normally I don't grow in bark. I've tried growing a few things in bark, but um, I do use bark when um, I do use bark when plants need to establish themselves because they need that extra moisture and humidity. So this works really well, this mix. And then I'm using these pots. I think I have seven plants in here. Um, and then I'm using these just regular nursery pots. I think they're like five inch. And then in the bottom of them, each one, I put in um, a lot of styrofoam chunks. I reuse this from stuff that I buy. Um, I do about a quarter of the pot up. I don't fill the whole pot with mix. Um, that's one of my little tricks. It keeps a lot of air in the pot and at the roots, and this will be really good for them. Uh, so I have enough there. I've got this ready. Um, I'm just gonna look in on these. They look like they're pretty good. They should be ready to go out soon. So we've removed the compote, the community pot, from the water. It's been soaking for about half an hour now, nice and wet. This is important because you want the roots to be very pliable when you're doing this so that you avoid and you minimize um, breakage of roots. I'm one of those people, I use a very white glove approach to growing orchids. Um, I saw a video the other day with a grower, a well-known grower, I'm not going to mention who it was, but and they were repotting a Cattleya and they were so vicious in their approach. And to me, um, orchids are living things. So I try to put a lot of love into what I do. So I really do take my time when I'm doing these things. So what I'm gonna do now is in order to separate these, um, I'm gonna take my time. I have this here, which is my little hammer. And I'm basically going to um, break this pot with this hammer gently. And then I'm gonna use this, which is just a blunt uh, butter knife, and I'm going to use this to go around the pieces of clay and separate the roots gingerly. I'm going to take my time doing that. It's going to take a little while, 
But this is how I really get great success with Orchid is I put a lot of love into them and I take my time doing these things and try to minimize uh, shock as much as possible. So I'm gonna get rid of this label. Yeah, it says here I got this compote in October 2019. See the roots are even growing through the label. Look at that, so. I'm just gonna go ahead and start breaking this. And you can see that some of it already falls off naturally, which is good, because you've soaked this plant. And, um, you know, other pieces you're gonna have to probably work around with a knife, but I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'm gonna come back when I'm done and uh, show you what the finished product looks like. So as you can see, this actually worked out really well because the clay pot just slipped away. I've already discarded it. And we're left with the root mass here. You can see it's got really nice roots, these ceilings. Um, I'm going to spend time now um, I'm probably going to take these to my sink and just, uh, I'm going to try to get rid of as much of the old media as possible carefully. And then I'm going to just use my sprayer in my sink and uh, rinse these clean. And then I'm just going to uh, separate all these very, very carefully. I'm going to take my time doing that. So um, I'll be back. Aren't these really nice? I'll be back when I get that done. So... It ends up that I actually have 10 plants in that community pot, um, which I was not expecting. I only thought there was seven of them, so I'm gonna have to make some adjustments. As it is with orchids, you always have to go with the flow and expect the unexpected. Um, some of them are quite large and have really nice root systems like this one. Uh, these are gonna have to go into a five inch pot, I think, or even larger. So I'm gonna have to work on finding pots that match the root systems. Um, some of them are smaller like these ones. Um, I'm going to go through each and every little plant and I'm going to um, clean up the roots. Um, I don't have a lot of cleanup here. Everything's really super healthy. But anything that's dead or whatever, like some of these roots here and stuff like that, I'm just going to clip them off with a sterile uh, pair of scissors that I have. And uh, so that, you know, I'm not repotting anything that doesn't need to be repotted. There's another one. But yeah, some of them, like this one's really big already. It's a good size. This should be blooming size in the next two years, I think. Um, so I'm going to go away and I'm going to spend some loving time with these plants and just clean them all up, clean up the roots, and then I'm going to find pots for them. And once I find pots for them, I will kind of come back here. So we're just going to pot these up now. Um, pretty straightforward. Just take your mix. Shove it in there. a really good tap. I had to add some other um, bark, bark that I had because I ran out of orchiata and I'm just using this up so it's a little chunkier but that's fine. And I just give this a really good tap down. I don't really overdo it. You know less is more with orchids. And that's it. This one's ready to go. I'll put a label in there. And I'm going to carry on doing this with the other ones and uh, we'll come back when we see the finished product. And voila, the finished product. So I officially have too many plants at this point. I uh, wasn't expecting there to be 10 plants in here, but what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna grow these out. I'm curious to see how these will all bloom out. And then I probably will sell the majority of these. Um, they're really cute, I've labeled them all. They're ready to go. They're going to go right under the lights and I will baby these. They're probably going to sulk for a little while because they've been transplanted, but um, in like about two months, they'll start to come to you and um, in a few more months, they'll be well established again and uh, like their new home. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and happy growing.